Uh, today uh, I had uh, thought of doing uh, some useful uh, uh, video to share information but uh, yeah uh, since it's raining good in Bangalore and uh, rain is very important and uh, we are uh, having less rain nowadays which is causing a lot of uh, environmental problems and uh, season problems uh, thought of doing something related to uh, rain and uh, water management so if you are having your own house or trying to build your own house um, there are a lot of ways uh, in which uh, you can manage it, uh, water especially the uh, god given um, rain water which is uh, purer than any water you get and uh, especially if you are in uh, area where uh, uh, government won't supply you drinking water it becomes uh, more important uh, to water uh, harvest uh, rainwater harvest and uh, uh, avoid its wastage uh, because uh, whatever water you get through tankers and bore wells and other options are uh, having a lot of ppm a lot of uh, uh, minerals and a uh, lot of particulate uh, matter uh, that is uh, not good for you and the plants so one thing that you can do when uh, you are planning your house is to ensure your house is uh, at least uh, two to three feet height from the road side and uh, in that way it will uh, avoid uh, water coming into your house from outside. Um, second thing you can do is uh, have a slope uh, from your house entrance towards um, the road so that um, uh, water does not enter your house third thing that you can do is uh, you will have a storm water drain for rain water to go um, if you have a storm water drain um, just ensure the bottom portion of your storm water drain is not uh, cemented uh, in between the stones that is laid uh, which is typical in uh, India uh, so that uh, water can uh, get absorbed into the soil and uh, in terms it can uh, seep into uh, ground aquifers plus if you have any canopy plants uh, like what we have uh, in front of our house uh, next to the storm water drain it will uh, help and also plan your house architecture and its uh, steps to ensure all the water from the rain that comes into your compound walls will come into um, any of the path for aquifying the water and allow its uh, seepage. So this is one view which is showing clearly different uh, levels uh, that are designed in such a way that uh, maximum water that falls within our compound limits will get into the ground uh, within our compound limits into your, our garden or into the uh, water uh, uh, levels uh, below the ground so here i am taking you to the another side of our garden which is uh, extension from that side what we have done is uh, ensure our house is around uh, three feet in height from the garden level and our garden level is at least uh, two feet below the uh, uh, road level in that way uh, they say uh, natural gradient uh, for uh, water to stay inside our garden and inside our premises you can clearly see the difference in the picture plus in our garden we have clearly laid out uh, walkways and steps in the periphery of our compound which will ensure uh, water will come towards uh, inside of our garden not go outside plus whatever water is in the pathway is going down to the garden's uh, level which means our pathway is uh, at least um, 
of uh, feet uh, above the garden's uh, soil level. So, all water you can see is uh, going into our garden and its soil and uh, it will get absorbed there and uh, you can uh, see how our garden is enjoying the rain and uh, this is the most uh, happiest moment. So, instead of uh, planning for a garden that is uh, far from your house uh, 80 kilometers far and second house, second farm instead of that uh, uh, I highly recommend uh, that uh, you take a plot uh, within the city's periphery and uh, plan your house in half of the plot whatever may be the size of the plot uh, house you can always go vertical you can go one floor two floor three floor but uh, please please uh, try to dedicate at least uh, half of the plot or at least uh, 30 percent of your uh, housing plot for the garden and uh, you will never uh, repent you will enjoy the garden uh, throughout your life uh, maybe it may be 5 feet 10 feet whatever uh, but you will surely enjoy it and while you are uh, setting up the garden uh, space in your plot uh, just ensure that uh, it is on the northern side of your uh, house so it's in the northern part of your plot uh, so, uh, if you take it from the direction perspective, your garden will be either on the north or east of your house of the plot and your house will be on the west or uh, south side. Uh, it, it also syncs up with uh, the Vastu which is a geophysical science uh, which will uh, help you to uh, maximize the um, uh, various uh, directional uh, uh, benefits like uh, wind, uh, sunlight, uh, etc., to maximize uh, in Bangalore's uh, position. So, hope you like the information here and uh, you will benefit from it. Enjoy the good rainy day. Hope uh, rains come and you can save more water. Thank you. Uh, have a nice day.